In this episode, we are going to create and run a Rails application using Docker. That means I don't need to have any of the packages like Ruby, RVM, or databases like MySQL be installed on my operating system, but there should be a Docker installed, uh, basically the Docker client and the Docker engine daemon. This video is not an introduction to Docker, but a quick walkthrough of how one can create and run Rails application using Docker and Compose. I have Docker installed on my Mac, which is Docker for Mac, and it is already running. If you're using a different OS, make sure you have the updated version of Docker installed. In this video, we are going to be building a simple, tiny note-taking application in Rails. It doesn't really matter what the application is, but to demonstrate some of the Rails commands as how you can use with Docker, I chose uh, this application and I'll name this application as NoteApp. Think of this application as uh, something like uh, Evernote, OneNote, or Google Keep. Let's get started. Create a project directory inside user home slash projects slash note app. This will be our Rails application directory, which is empty right now. Instead of going with installing Ruby, Rails Jam, and creating Rails application using Rails new command, we would start with the gem file first. Let's open the code editor. Here I have uh, Sublime, but you can use any other code editor or even Vim. Create a gem file, which would uh, start with source as HTTPS rubygems.org, the standard one. And we'll need Rails gem to start with. Let's add Rails gem version 5.0 and also create an empty gem file.lock, which we will need to run the bundle install within Docker. Let's go back to the editor, create a Docker file for our Rails application. So in this, we would uh, define the Docker image uh, definition. So the base image for the application's Docker image is Ruby. So let's pick the latest version from the Docker Hub. I'll use um, version 2.3.0. So on top of the base Ruby image, we also need a few dev packages in order to build some of the gems that are required for Rails application. So let's use uh, sudo apt-get to install those. I'd like the work directory of our note app application in the Docker image be slash note app. Uh, create that directory and uh, make slash note app the work directory. So when I run note app, uh, the Rails application within Docker container, Rails root for that application would be slash note app. And then add gem file to the Rails root on the image, which is slash note app, and also gem file dot lock. So the next instruction is bundle install. So the first time around when we build, it would just install Rails gem along with its dependencies because gem file only includes uh, instruction to install Rails gem. So the last instruction in the Docker file is to add the current directory where we're gonna run the Docker commands to the application directory in the Docker image, which is slash node app. So every time you build the image, all the files and directories from the current directory will be added onto slash note app in the image. Now that we have the Docker file created, let's create a compose file, docker-compose.yaml. We will use this to define the services involved for this application. For our note app, we will need two services. One is the Rails application itself, and the other one is the database, which in this case, I will use MySQL. So the file begins with version, which is two, and then services section. Start with the database service. I'll name that service as DB. I'll paste in a few lines to make it quicker. So here we are using MySQL image version 5.7 from the Docker Hub again. You can configure MySQL root, password, user, and database names using the environment variables. To learn more about MySQL image, go on to Docker Hub and search for MySQL. You'll find a few examples and explanation of different parameters that you can configure MySQL with. So back to the Docker Compose YAML, let's add another service for the app. Um, you can also call it web. I prefer app, which is our Rails application. 
unlike MySQL image, we don't have an image from the registry, but we need to build it off of the current directory or where the Docker file is located. So instead of image, use build and the value is dot, which is the current directory where Docker file is located. So let's set the command to run the service, which is bundle exec rails s at port number 3000 and bind it to host IP 0.0.0.0. Configure the volume for this service. On my development machine, we need the current directory or the Rails root be shared between the Docker container and the host, which is Mac in my case, in host where I make changes to the code and in the container where it gets executed. And this is a purpose in the development environment. Now, make app service depend on the DB service so that when you run app service, you have the DB service also running. And also link the DB service so that app, the Rails application, can connect to the DB using DB as the host name. The app service or Rails within the container will run at port number 3000. But I have something else running on that port on my host or the Mac. So I wouldn't want it to be available on 3000 on my Mac. So I'll set the port mapping or port forward as 3001 on the host to 3000 on the guest. And do the same thing for DB service as well. So 3307 on the host to 3306 on the guest or which is the default. So that's about it for the Docker Compose YAML. We have the DB service defined, app service defined, and Docker file, gem files look good. Now this looks like a lot of stuff to begin with, but this is only one time. So let's go back to the terminal window. Let's run the docker compose command to create a new Rails application. We're going to be using a standard Rails uh, command to generate a new Rails application, but using docker compose. So the command is docker compose run app, which is a service that we define in the docker compose YAML, and then the command, which is Rails new dot the current folder force database is MySQL and skip bundle. This should create a Rails application directory structure in the current directory. Boom, it failed. Um, typo in the Docker Compose YAML file, uh, the word environment. Let's fix that and run it again. It is running, it is running now, I'm trying to create the DB container first, which would download the MySQL image from the Docker Hub, set up the container, create MySQL database based on the environment variables set in the Docker Compose file. Okay, that is complete now. By now, we have the DB container with the database created and Rails application directory structure is also created. Now we need to edit the database YAML file. I'll open that up, clean this up a bit, and set the database name from reading from the environment variables of the app service. Similarly, read the database host user password from the environment variables. Notice we don't have this configured in the Docker Compose YAML file for the app service yet, which we will do in a bit. Looks clean and no hard coding, and that should work for production environment as well. Uh, let's go back to the Docker Compose file, set the environment variables under the app service to set database name, user, password, and the, the database host would be db, which is linked in here. On the terminal window, let us run the docker compose build. Now this would build an image for the app. This time we have an updated gem file, which was updated by the Rails new command. So it would install all the gems for the Rails application, which will take a little longer. Image has been created, all good so far. Let us run the Rails application along with the database. We don't need to run rake to create the database because the DB service has already created that for us and we don't have any migrations to run yet. Before we create any migrations or model, let's do a Docker Compose up to start both the services and see what happens. Notice both MySQL and Rails are running. Rails is running at port number 3000 in the container and that is not the port 3000 on my host OS X or Mac, so I cannot access 3000 on browser. As per our Docker Compose, it should be available on 3001. So go to localhost 3001 on my browser. There we have Rails running. Cool. Let's add some controller model views to test um, some of the commands and to ensure the Rails application is actually running with database connected. For this Note app, the key resource or the model will be Note. So I'm gonna create a scaffold for node using Rails generator. Again, using Docker Compose run app service and the command is Rails generate 
scaffold node and the model will have two columns or fields a string title and text body go now we have a scaffold generated let's run the migration using the compose again we don't need to restart the service but access port number 3001 slash notes there we go i can create a node list and view a standard rails scaffold all from the rails running in a container along with the db container let's test a few more commands using docker compose docker compose ps to check the status of the services besides that you can use docker compose run app to run pretty much all the rails commands such as for migration c generators and so on only extra thing that you end up typing is the docker compose run app every time you need to run anything on rails app before we wrap this up i wanted to make this application ui look a bit pretty offline i updated the style sheet and layout of the note app using a sample bootstrap template let's reload the page and here we have the updated ui only the ui changed nothing on the controller or model that's it for this episode thanks for watching